Hi, my name is Kevin and welcome to this channel. With the current threat of nuclear escalation and the probability of an EMP attack, it isn't weird to protect some of your electronics. An EMP, short for electromagnetic pulse, is a brief burst of electromagnetic energy. The origin of an EMP can be natural or artificial, for example solar flares or high altitude nuclear detonation. The electromagnetic interference caused by an EMP can disrupt communications and damage electronic equipment. To protect your equipment, we're gonna need a Faraday bag. As you can see here, I got some DIY Faraday bags for some of my equipments. A Faraday bag is a special type of bag that's designed to block electromagnetic radiation and prevent any signals from entering or leaving the bag. So I need another bag for my power bank and I thought, let me show you how I make it. To build this bag we need some materials. We need some conductive material, in this case we use aluminium foil, some non-conductive, as you can see here we use paper, some double-sided tape, duct tape, and some scissors or a utility knife. The first thing you'll need to do is to make the non-conductive bag. Make the bag large enough to wrap around your device with extra spaces on all sides. I left more room on the opening so we could fold it later to close it. Now we fold the sides except one side, that's our opening. After that we tape it together. Now we're gonna put some double tape on both sides so the conductive layer can stick to it and make our life easier. Next, cut two pieces of aluminium foil that's slightly larger than your paper. This will serve as the main barrier against electromagnetic waves. As we did before with the paper, leave some extra room on the opening so we could fold it later. If there's a gap, it wouldn't work. Now, uncover your double sided tape from the paper bag and place it on the aluminium foil. Do this also on the other side. Fold all sides except the opening like you see here. And tape everything together except the opening. I tape the sides like this so it's reinforced. The sides and corners don't be a weak point and tear up. So why did we leave more room in the opening? If we flatten our opening side, the non-conductive layer, in this case paper, creates a closed compartment inside the aluminum foil. And the aluminum foil is also a closed compartment now, so we created a 360 degree cover for the equipment inside. Now, we need to do the same thing as before but slightly larger for the bag itself. So it creates barriers between the outside world and the equipment inside. After we close our first bag as shown in the video, we put the folded opening side first inside the bigger bag. And then we fold the bigger bag close. And now your equipment should be protected. How do you know if the bag that we made works? We got several tests that we can do. The first is using our radios. As you can see it, or hear it, it reaches each other. Now, I'm gonna put it in the bag and see if it still receives it. Check, check, check. Second, we try it with the phone. I'm gonna call it now. This is my settings, but when I do this, it stops. As you can hear, it's still receiving signal. The call is going through. Now we're gonna put the phone inside of the bag, and then we try to call it again. And as you can hear, it doesn't come through. We use this manner because it covers different kinds of radio waves that we're trying to block. Can I get the signal? And that's it. You have now made your own Faraday bag to protect your electronic devices from electromagnetic interference or electromagnetic pulses. Remember, it's important to ensure that there are no gaps or holes in the aluminum foil layer. 
as even small gaps can allow electromagnetic waves to penetrate the bag. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching.